there was no single moment. It was an accumulation of things that brought me to my work with AIDS. Um, I was very aware of that first time I heard about GRID, gay-related immune deficiency. Um, I heard it's one of those background things that suddenly your ears prick up. And being a gay man, I very much realized what this <laughs> might mean. Um, I'm a pediatrician, and in the early years, I felt a little bit helpless, a little bit left out. Uh, being a doctor, I wanted to be able to do more. Um, but in, it was just a couple of years later that we heard about the first report about children with HIV infection. And um, I was already caring for a child who I did not realize had HIV infection, a child who had um, a lung problem that we had labeled as other things. Uh, but at that time, then realized when the report came out that this was a child with HIV infection. So that was something that really um, helped me along the way of getting involved. Um, at the same time, around that time, I had my first friend die from AIDS. <laughs> this is quite usual for me. Even 30 years later, these things uh, make me tearful make me uh, remember those incidents. Uh, and all of those accumulated uh, for me to get involved, to become a researcher. But more importantly than that, to be a clinician in caring for children, caring for their families. And the rewards those families, those children have given me, have sometimes surpassed what I've been able to do for them.